Well, if you've been playing with Home Assistant for a while now, you've probably been hearing about the fact that there's risks involved with running your Home Assistant on an SD card inside your Raspberry Pi, and it might just burn out at any stage. So what I'm gonna show you today is the method in 2025 of how to move the data over to an SSD disk like this. This will speed up your performance and it will also make sure that you don't run out of space or burn out the SD card. So there's two things that you need for this. First of all, you need an SSD drive like this. Now, I would definitely recommend getting a well-known brand, something like this one, which is a Crucial or a Samsung, a brand that you've heard of, not the cheapest thing you can find. You can always go for the smallest size, but don't go for the cheapest brand. Otherwise, you may have ending in trouble. The other thing you're going to need is one of these cables to hook it up. And I'm going to leave a link in the description to a cable that will work. I have heard on some of the forums that there are some cables that may give trouble. So now you're going to plug the cable into the SSD and the other end is going to go into the one of the USB slots on your home assistant. Make sure it's the blue slot because that's the USB 3.0 so it'll be faster. So now we're going to go and make a backup of our system. So we go settings, system, backups, and we're going to go backup now. This is just to make sure that if anything goes wrong, we've got a backup of everything we need. We'll just call this backup SSD and we'll go create backup. Now my backups are currently being stored on Nabucasa, but if yours are not, I would just download that backup. You can go along there to your manual backups and just select there and download that just in case. Next up, you can go and just remember you need to download your emergency kit as well. With the new backup system, you've got this encryption. So just make sure you've got that. So now we're going to go along to settings, system and storage. And we're going to go move data disk. We're going to select the new data disk. There you can see it's a 500 gigabit. And now we're going to go move. Now bear in mind, can take up to 20 minutes. So whatever you do, don't switch off your home assistant now because you may cause damage. So just leave it and go and have a nice coffee. Subscribe to my page if you're enjoying this content and we'll see once it's done. Now that it's completed, you can see that I'm only using 4.2% of the disk space compared to before we were using 33% of my SD card. So that's all for now. Hope you found this video useful. See you in the next one. Bye for now.